Hey guys, it's Time for Tech here. Today, we're going to be talking about some of Apple's best input innovations. So, it is a very, very simple thing. Apple first made it with one massive button at the front instead of two click parts. But now, the Apple Watch has evolved until the simplicity that it is now which looks really simple and elegant and hasn't changed in a really long while in terms of looks and with the looks it looks amazing not really outstanding wise but simplicity wise just white and elegant next is multi-touch multi-touch is with using your fingers and before apple came along there was touch screen, but you had to use stylus or some sort of other device. So Apple really made the touch screen mainstream and being able to use it with your fingers on the phone, basically, which is now in every single phone that has been released in probably the last five, six, seven, eight years now. And the reason that Apple has succeeded in this is, first of all, they got rid of BlackBerry. BlackBerry was the main phone before Apple, and now they are the main phone that you have to have. So next, it's Touch ID. There have been fingerprint scanners before, especially I've seen one on the motor on a Motorola phone before. I'm not sure what model it is, but that Touch ID slash fingerprint scanner wasn't really that good. Apple made this fingerprint security just much easier with just a tap on the home screen. They said it couldn't be hacked and then a group of hackers hacked it within three days but you're gonna have to work quite hard for it to be hacked so I wouldn't worry about the Touch ID security at all. I'd be perfectly fine with using Touch ID. Other companies have started to use it now with the OnePlus 2 phone having some sort of fingerprint recognition with also the Samsung phone having it. The Samsung Galaxy S5 had it, but it didn't really look that good and it didn't work that well. The S6 has improved it, but it's still not as easily used as Touch ID on the iPhone. Finally, Force Touch. Force Touch will debuted on the Apple Watch, which I think is a really great feature. But I've raised my doubts before in some of my previous posts about Force Touch working on the iPhone because you wouldn't really want to pay attention to how hard you tap the screen on your phone. On the laptop, it could be a good thing. So you've got the trackpad and then you press down on it. That brings up some apps that you frequently use. If you're on Safari, hold down on it. It'll go to your bookmarks. Something like that will be a good feature, but not changing the whole interface. And with the iPhone, I think it is going to be in the iPhone, but I'll need a bit of convincing to see if I will like Force Touch. If you liked that post about Apple's input innovations, please leave a like and subscribe.